Disclaimer lang guys, I am not in any way connected with Air Asia. I'm not receiving any payment for this video. So okay guys, so, yun na nga no. <laughs> Lahat ng tao nasa bahay, ang bagal ng internet. Ayaw niya mag-process. <music> Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, this is just a follow up dun sa nauna kong video regarding Air Asia flight booking refund. And I understand that a lot of us are really frustrated with the current situation that we're in now. Effective March 15, Metro Manila will be under community quarantine. And as of today, March 14, 9 p.m., DOH has released a new memo stating that there are already 111 confirmed cases of COVID here in the Philippines. Stay indoors as advice. We need to be safe in order to keep our family safe as well. So I hope we stand in this situation that we're in now as one nation and I hope we continue helping one another because we are the only solution to this problem. Okay? So ito kasi yung reason bakit nagka-cancel yung mga flights ngayon. Um, I just want to share this video to help na rin those people who are really really frustrated right now kasi um, I've been seeing a lot of comments in Air Asia right now. I don't, I don't know if I feel bad that's why I'm doing this. Pero kasi um, we all know that refund request is now in process and I requested for it last... Ano ba pinagsasabi ko? Hindi ka <laughs> And I requested for it last March 13. Okay? Friday yon at around 5am. Just to give you an idea, yung flight ko is going to Tai uh, Taipei. Um, just last week probably dun ako nag start mag process ng um, request to cancel my flight pero to no avail. Talagang Hindi ko alam kung ano nangyayari sa AVA chat system ng Air Asia. <laughs> uh, it's not going in my favor at that time. As in, parang every day nagpa-process ako kung magsasucceed yung refund request ko. Pero, wala talaga. Pero, nung April 12 at around 6 p.m., naka-receive ako ng email sa Air Asia. So, ang subject niya is... Hold on. Ang subject niya is... I'll just check my email. <laughs> Para hindi tayo fake news. So, okay guys, yung, yun na nga, no? <laughs> Lahat ng tao nasa bahay, ang bagal ng internet, ayaw niya mag-process. Okay, anyway, sinend ko to kasi sa messenger nung um, isang nagtatanong sa akin kung ano yung email na receive ko. So, ang sabi dun sa email is... So, yan guys, nahanap ko na yung screenshot ng email sa akin. So, lalagay ko siya dito. Well, um, yeah, basahin ko lang din sa inyo. Um, ang nakalagay, urgent, Air Asia flight rescheduled notice. So, this is our rescheduling notice. Um, it was sent last Thursday, March 12, 2020 at around 6.16, 6.16 p.m. And yung mga details lang naman nandito, yung flight details ko, tapos yung um, flight details... Um, PRN number ko, tapos yung sa refund instruction. So, nandito yung mga refund instruction. So, you, I have three options here. First is to change my flight to another departure date or time. So, yun yung rescheduled. Second, credit account. Request for a credit account of the value of your booking which is to be redeemed within 90 calendar days from the issue once date for your future travel with Air Asia. Okay? So, yun yung second option. And then, yung third option, guys, which is, yun yung ginawa ko. Ito yung full refund. Full refund meaning, uh, ibabalik na Air Asia yung payment ko, dun sa original payment method na ginawa ko. So, nagbayad kasi ako via credit card. Actually, credit. yung video ko previously regarding dun sa kung paano ko na refund yung flight ko, it happened last uh, March 13 at around 5.30 a.m. Okay? So, yun lang. Um, this video aims to share with you ko ano na experience ko and some thoughts ko and some tips na rin na baka makatulong sa inyo in um, requesting for a refund dun sa Air Asia. So guys, lahat ng imi-mention ko today is based on my experience. Ito yung mga bagay na I think makakatulong sa inyo. So, so yeah, let's start. So, I can't believe that I'm a fool again I thought this love will never end 
So, yung first video ko, guys, about how I requested full refund with Air Asia already got like 791 um, views in just a day. And I think that this is a very important concern for everyone who has booking with Air Asia. So, the reason why I created this video para na rin at some point makatulong and sana makatulong sa inyo. I received the email last March 12 um, at 6 p.m. Tinray ko, uh, tinray ko mag-refund from 6 p.m. up until 11 p.m. until such time na pagod na ako, kaya tinigil ko na. And I don't wanna have a bad day that time, kaya pinalampas ko na lang. Tapos, nakauwi ako sa bahay around 3.30 a.m. after ng work ko. And suddenly, parang naisip ko lang around 5 a.m. na... What if itry ko kaya ulit? But this time, hindi na sa phone. This time, itry ko sa laptop ko. So, so first guys, na tip ko is to check your email. Kung nagpadala sila dun sa email na ginamit nyo for booking this flight. So, this is very important guys na ma-remember nyo kung ano yung email na ginamit nyo dun sa pagbubok nyo ng flight with AirAsia. Kasi ito rin yung itatype nyo sa Ava, sa, kay Ava. Ava. Kasi alam na talaga ni Ava to eh. So, yung email address na to is kung saan nila sinenden yung itinerary nyo, yung unang nag kayo. So, kindly look for that. Ako kasi, I have two emails. Minsan, hindi ko na alam kung Gmail or Yahoo yung ginagamit ko. So, um, for this time, na-confirm ko na dun sinend yung itinerary ko sa Yahoo na email ko. So, yun yung binigay ko kay Ava during the time na nag-re-refund ako. Yung email subject na mention ko na naman earlier, kung ano, yung um, nasa email. And then, meron lang note kasi dun guys sa baba na yun, for credit account or full refund of bookings made and paid made and paid through a travel agent or third party, kindly contact the travel agent directly. So, for those na nagbayad via um, 7-Eleven or bayad centers, Cebuana, yung mga ganong klaseng payment channel, hindi lang ako ganun ka-sure kung kasama siya dito sa na to, na ang sinasabi kung nagbayad ka daw sa travel agent or third party. I'm not sure if we can put them into that, that category na yung mga payment modes na 7-Eleven sa Buwana and Bayad Centers are under third party. Ito guys, nakasulat dyan. Lalagay ko na dito para clear lang din sa atin. Isip ko lang guys, yung mga nagbayad through 7-Eleven or this Bayad Centers, kaya baka nahihirapan sila mag-refund ng flight booking nila kasi merong note si Air Asia na ganito. So, I suggest dun sa iba, if you can just contact probably for 7-Eleven, I've seen in their um, website na meron silang 24-hour service contact center. So, baka you may try calling that um, number as well to try and inquire about your situation. And also, siguro yung bayad centers, ganyan, or Cebuana, baka may mga contact centers din sila. Pwede nyo namang search sa Google, guys. Diba? Search nyo na lang. Kasi at this point of time, guys, if AVA or the AirAsia system isn't of help to us, um, I think this is the best time to find other ways or find solution to the problem that we have now. And then next tip guys, ito kasi yung ginawa ko. Nagbook ako on wee hours. Wee hours, ibig sabihin yung madaling araw. Um, I think I suggest you try do it between 1 to 5 a.m. or even 6 a.m. Um, between those times. Yung mga ganun oras kasi medyo mababa yung volume na nagtatry mag-access dun sa system ni Air Asia which is yung APA nga. And baka through that, mas mabilis tayong makapasok dun sa system. Nawa ko siya ng 6 to 11 p.m. ng March 12 pero to no avail. Tapos the other day ng madaling araw, tinry ko siya like 5.30 a.m. pero nang succeed naman. So, yun lang. Baka it's a good thing to try then na uh, trying to um, get a refund between those time or is the thing is nag-request ako ng refund with Air Asia on Friday. So, Friday is a weekday. So, usually maraming taong nasa work Diba? So, busy, natutulog pa during that time. Kaya, siguro ako nakapasok dun sa system nila. Kaya, madali ako nakapasok dun sa system nila. Unlike now, or earlier today, Saturday, um, halos lahat ng tao ngayon sa bahay, available sila itong weekends na to to keep accessing AirAsia and try to request a refund. So, I highly suggest na try requesting for a refund on a weekday. So, from Mondays to Fridays. And also, baka Mondays to Fridays then guys, maraming um, available na staff or agents oh, which can assist us, ba? Kasi meron din silang live chat na system. So, to make it short guys, try accessing the website on weekdays between 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. It's good thing to try din naman, guys, kung hindi talaga tayo nagsasucceed dun sa mga hours na nagtatry tayo mag-request ng refund with Air Asia. Right? Okay. 
is when you use Ava system, yung chat system nila, make sure we enter the right, right keywords. And next, kindly avoid typographical errors. Kasi yung mga chat system na ganyan guys, nakarelay lang siya word by word. Very short and specific dapat yung mga words na um, sinesend natin dun sa system. Okay? So first, make sure we're using the right keywords for our case. Diba? For flight refund, marami siyang klase na flight refund. So make sure na pinipili nyo yung tamang refund for you. And then next, kindly avoid typographical errors. Kasi yung Ava system, guys, nakarelay lang siya dun sa words na tinatype natin. So yung words, kindly keep it short, simple, but sweet. Yun nga yung sabi ni Ava yata. Eh. So next tip, guys, is prepare all the details that you need. For example, yung PRN number or yung booking number nyo na 685INSH. Okay, yung 6 digits na PRN number or yung booking number. Next, yung email na ginamit nyo sa pagbubook, make sure kung saan nila sinend yung itinerary details nyo, yun din yung gag ibibigay nyo kay Ava. Okay? Booking details or yung itinerary nyo. And kung saan din sinend yung flight schedule notice nyo. So, kung saan yung sinend, yun yung gagamitin nyo kay Ava. Okay? If you succeeded with your request with Ava, um, you may check the status of your case via AirAsia website, um, by logging into your account, or via AirAsia mobile app. So, papakita ko sa inyo yung video kung paano nyo i-check yung, uh, yung status ng case nyo. Yan, yeah, papakita ko na rin sa inyo kung ano yung naka-reflect sa akin. Until today, yun pa rin naman yung naka-reflect sa akin. So, parang two days na din. So, it's been two days and yun pa. So, ito na yung video, guys. yung sa baba niya, ang ginamit ko kasi is credit card. So, yun naman yung naka-reflect via credit card nila. Um, ibabalik or i-refund. Re ang processing time daw ng refund, guys, will be 30 to 60 working days. I know. Medyo matagal siya. But it's better than nothing. Um, it's better na maghintay ako ng 30 to 60 working days. Sana makatulong sa inyo to na ma-refund nyo yung perang pinangbook nyo with AirAsia. Kasi it's really frustrating na malalaman mong cancel yung flight mo and hindi ka pa makakakuha ng refund. In the first place, hindi naman natin ginusto to. Even them, I know, hindi rin naman ginusto ng AirAsia to. Walang gumusto sa nangyari. Pero I hope lang we get what's due to us. So, last thing na lang, guys. If you are trying to refund via AirAsia mobile app, just kindly ensure that you have the latest version of the app. So, you may download it via Google Play Store or dun sa Apple Store. So, depende kung iOS kayo or Android. Yeah? And... Yeah, I guess that's it for today. And thank you so much, guys, for um, taking time to watch this video. And if you like this video, kindly give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel because I'll be uploading more content soon. And mga tips then traveling tips probably. And mga DIY. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. Kindly keep yourself safe, okay? And don't forget, you need to stay indoors, alright? Ciao!